This is the welcome into New Zealand for the new Rainbow Warrior and it's appropriate that we come to Matodi Bay first so that the warrior pays her respect to the old girl and takes the baton off her and also pays respects to Ngāti Kura which is the local iwi that have looked over, watched over the old warrior for the last 25 years. E kaura e tāne wāhi te atura te ngaru huka huka o marereo Piki te atura te au rere kura o tau taurangi Te ono velo tātou Mea ko tāmei nei tātou This is a bit like the warrior's spiritual home and New Zealand and the Rainbow Warrior have a really um, different kind of relationship I think than any other place in the world for the warrior because of what happened to the first warrior no, here and because many New Zealanders feel like it happened to New Zealand as much as it happened to Greenpeace. Many of us felt a very deep connection to the boat from having poured our own blood and sweat and tears into it for many years and wanted to give her a decent burial and the phone rang and it was Dover. Now I've got a proposition for you. So a couple of days later we got in the, or the next day I think, we got in the car and drove up here, met a few wonderful people for the first time, and the rest is history. And we're eternally grateful for that and for the connection that you referred to in the statement, which I personally and I think many other people bring with us all around the world. The second Rainbow Warrior has now retired uh, from, our, from Greenpeace service, but we've been able to put it back into a good service. So I want you to know, since you blessed that ship as well, that that is now a hospital ship in Bangladesh. They've renamed it Rongdo, which means rainbow in Bangladeshi. So now it's serving all the people in Bangladesh, which is very special because that's one of the countries that will be most affected by climate change, which is a catastrophe facing all of us, but there especially as the floods and these major hurricanes come, they need a hospital ship. So it's good to know that that rainbow warrior is a good protector. I think the new warrior is a really good example of the kind of choices you have. The warrior will continue to do the same old campaigning she's always done, but she's going to do it in a cleaner, smarter, uh, brand spanking new way, but an environmentally sound way. But she'll be even better by doing it that way. And those are the kind of choices that we think New Zealand has got to make as well in terms of the way we make our living, the way we develop our economy. Do we really need to be digging for deep sea oil? Do we really need to be digging up coal? Those are really old industries that are very polluting for our land, our water, our climate. And we have a choice. We can do it in a very different way. And New Zealand, thankfully, has amazing resources and innovation to be able to make a very prosperous future for itself. It doesn't have to do it in a dirty, polluting way. And the warrior is a great example of making a choice and being able to do the same thing, but in a smarter, cleaner way.